Hi there. So I'm Mr. Sand, and I'm going to talk you through a couple momentum problems here. Um, one of them is the second warm-up problem from your uh, from your workbook about conservation of momentum. And the idea is that um, you've got this block of dynamite <coughs> that's at rest. So that's important that it's at rest to start off with. And here, let me just change this a little bit. Um, and then it explodes. And it has two pieces that are flying in opposite directions. Um, so first, let's draw the free body diagram of this situation. So you've got this little stick of, of dynamite here. So here it is. You've got this little stick of dynamite. And it's got a mass. So its mass is 1.2 kilograms. All right. Um, and then it explodes. So if, let's just say it, it cuts roughly in half since one of the pieces is 0.5 grams or kilograms. So let's say one of the one of the pieces, or it even says it in, in the part one, uh, part A of it. it, says if one of the pieces was 0.5 kilograms moved in the positive direction and the other piece moved at negative 18 meters per second and negatively, uh, what was its final velocity? So we're asking what the final velocity is of the positive direction. So I'm just gonna label two sides here. So one of them is gonna be broken in half. So it'll be like this, that's one side. And then the other side looks like this. Oh, I want to make it complementary. There we go. Okay, something like that maybe. <laughs> right, you just have to believe me here. So this one, let's call this um, part B, I guess. We're going to call this one B, and we're going to call this one A. Uh, B has a mass of 0.5 kilograms. 0.5 kilograms. And we don't know what it's what its final velocity is. So that's its mass. And we don't know what its final velocity is, or its VF. We don't know what that is. And over here, we know the mass of A. Well, how do we know the mass of A? It doesn't tell us what the mass of A is, this piece over here. Well, it's simple. We just take point, uh, 1.2 and subtract 0.5 from that, and we get 0 0.7. So this, and this is kilograms. 0.7 kilograms. 0.7 plus 0.5 equals 1.2. So we're assuming that there's no mass that's lost. Um, all right, and then this, we know that the final velocity of this one is is negative uh, 18 meters per second. Okay, and we should also say that when these things are connected to each other, uh, they the they both were together at one point and they had a zero velocity, so it was at rest. So the mass was 1.2 and the velocity, the initial velocity was zero meters per second. So what this means in terms of a, the uh, conservation of momentum um, problem is that we have uh, we have zero was the initial conditions. So the normally we'd write it out like m a times v a i. That's the initial one plus the mass of b times the initial velocity of b. Uh, equals, and then we go out to the other side, we say the mass of A times the final velocity of A plus the mass of B times the final velocity of B. It's just a lot of record keeping here. Um, but since we know that the initial velocity here is zero and here is zero, we know that overall, add those together, no matter what this mass is, it's going to equal zero on that side. So that's great. Um, so all we need to really find now is we need to find uh, the VF for B, this is B over here, and this is VF for A. Um, so let's put this in here. Um, let's find the final velocity of, of our B. So let's do it. Um, we have all the, the numbers here. They seem like they go in the right direction. So this one's going to be a positive velocity going in a positive direction. We'll call this the positive, and this is going to be the negative direction here. Um, so all we need to do is find this right here. I think you can do this. So let's let's uh, let's just quickly go through this real quick. Um, we're gonna say we're gonna sub subtract this this kind of this mass of terms on this side and subtract it um, from both sides. So we'll have minus m a times v a f equals m b times v b f. And we're, again, we're finding this v b f right here. So we divide both sides by mb. So our final term is by itself. So it's going to be like this. And this is divided by mb. And 
minus is VDF. And when you put all those values in in the correct way, you're going to find that the final velocity is something like 25.2 meters per second. But we need to round to the right number of sig figs, and there's only one sig fig in this mass right here, right there. So we need to round this to one sig fig. So to round to one sig fig, we go one, and then we chop off this, shink, and it's gonna be rounded up to three. So it's three, and zero is a placeholder. So it's 30 meters per second. That's the final answer for that problem right there. So let's get another, another, another blank sheet. Don't save. Okay, and we'll use a different color real quick. Okay, so I wanna set this up. Uh, the practice problem number one is important to set this up correctly because you wanna make sure all the positives and negatives are going in the right direction. So it makes sense to draw a picture first. So for practice problem number one here, we've got a 0.5 kilogram ball and it's traveling six meters per second and collides head on with a one kilogram ball, which is moving in the opposite direction at uh, 12 meters per second. So opposite direction, we think um, automatically that the signs are gonna be reversed. So we, I'm gonna call that uh, opposite direction, I'm gonna call that negative. Um, and then we're gonna see what happens after that. So again, let's just start off with a free body diagram here. So we've got a ball, I'm gonna call this ball uh, ball A, this is ball A, um, and this ball A has a mass of 0 0.50 kilograms, and it's got a velocity, initial velocity, so we're going to say initial velocity of 6.0 meters per second, and it's going in that direction, okay? So this is before it collides, um, and then it collides head-on with another ball, and this is a one kilogram ball, I'm gonna call this ball B. Here's ball B, it's going in the opposite direction. So it's one kilogram, that's a mass. One kilogram ball, <clears throat> moving in the opposite direction very fast. So its velocity is in the opposite direction. I'm gonna say that's a negative then because it's going this way. And that's a negative 12.0 meters per second. Okay, great. Now, the 0.5 kilogram ball, that's this one over here, it says, bounces backward after the collision at negative 14, well, I'm gonna, backward means it's going in the opposite direction, backward, so if this is forward, it's going right here, it's going forward this way, what would be its backward? It would be the opposite way, so we could call that a negative direction if this is positive over here, so going this way is positive, going this way is negative, okay? Get that straight. Now we could have reversed that if we wanted to. We could make this negative and we could make this positive, but we're not doing that. We're just saying the right to the right is positive and to the left is negative. So this one's going after the collision. This is pre-collision, and then we're gonna go to after the collision. After the collision, this ball is moving. It's got the same mass, it didn't change mass, but now it's in the opposite direction and it's going uh, It's the yeah, it's bouncing backwards at negative. So here's the velocity is now. This is a, a final. It's negative 14.0 meters per second. Okay, and we need to find the mass. I'm sorry. We need to find the velocity of the heavier ball after the collision. So we just need to find what this uh, the final velocity of B is, so this is the initial velocity. We just need to find the final velocity. We don't know what that is. So what would this one be? It could be going this way. It could be going this way, depending on what our formula tells us what to do. We don't know if it's gonna just continue to go through it, because that can happen. If you've ever seen something really massive run into something that's not so massive, um, and it's going at a higher s velocity here, look at that, it's 12, and this is only six. It could just plow right through this. We don't know. So that's why our signs are very important here. So let's just set this up and I'll rearrange this real quickly for you so you can see what you should be putting in there. But make sure that you're including these negatives in these, uh, in these, in these variables here. So let's do it. All right. I'm not gonna color code these because it takes, well, I'll, I will color code them. Okay. <laughs> So the initial setup for the conservation of momentum is uh, we've got the MB times VB 
it doesn't matter which side, which one's on which side, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to say this is dbi, uh, and this is plus, let's get this all set up here, um, ma times vai, and this equals, and then that's going to be the final ones, it's going to be ma vaf plus, and now we've got the last one, mb v b f all right and we want to find b v b f so really all this is right here is just subtraction and division so we'll, we'll subtract this big chunk of terms right here all right let me get all the colors all straight here so keep this all good v b i and now let me get to do this a v a that's the same, it just drops down. Now we're just I'm subtracting this right here. Subtract M A V A F and this equals M B V B F. All good so far. Great. Now all you do is divide all these terms by M B. And instead of doing that whole long rewrite, I'm just gonna say and then I erase this and put it underneath here. MB. Okay, now you can combine terms if you like, if that makes you happy. Um, not that difficult, but if you like to, go ahead. Or at this point, you can just put in all the terms you like that are given to you. So all of these terms are given to you up here. Just make sure that you're including the correct negative. So for instance, this VAF right here is the negative 14. So make sure that you're including that into your calculations. If this whole term right here is negative 14, and the mass is still the same, the mass is 0.5, so it's going to be 0.5 times negative 14. And this whole term is going to be subtracted. So just keep those positives and negatives uh, accounted for here. Um, finally, you should get as an answer um, negative 2.0 meters per second. That's if you do this correctly. So that what that means, it's pretty cool, it means that this ball is going plowing through this red ball right here. It's going at the final velocity, it's going to be going in this direction. It'll be negative 2.0 meters per second. Okay, so that's the answer and that's how you set up practice problem one. So I hope you learned something. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.